Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. I think the first order of business today is to go see what happened to our troops. They tend to not continue their uh, their travel as soon as you turn the game off. So where did they ever end up? Right over here. You guys continue your way in. And where is a good high ground over here? It does, tr it does seem to be right about where we've been placing them. Let's set you guys right in there, and actually I need to see that. We want these to be 18 wide. So something like that. Alright, you're going in there, you are stand your ground, just in case I don't get back to you in time. And, yep, you're, you're just going to hang out over there and see what you can get up to. Now, we left last episode with these three fields being plowed and sown by hand and we'll see if we can pull it off in what I'm guessing is about six weeks left over here we have one two three four five six seven fields that they're trying to accomplish the same goal but thankfully over here we do have an ox that is uh, plowing whereas the other side doesn't have that that perk and I see he is kind of traveling with the, uh, shall we say, the grain of the land. That looks good. In fact, it lines up really well with the road. Now, this is aimed differently. Probably because we started over here, so it made this the front of the field. So i got to think about that when I, when I place things. If I had maybe gone to here and then clicked and then took it around, it would have probably all been aimed this way. But I see by hand, they're just doing it like so. So I don't know what the plow is going to obey. But these guys have got things to do. Nothing more to tell them to do because there's only one family left. And they that person... No, oh, there's two. We got another one. We did. Um, because the last family was sitting in the tannery trying to process everything. Did they complete it? Um, where is that... I'm lost here. It's right there. So six hides left and eight leather. Is there anything left to build? There is. So the one family can go ahead and start building. So there's stuff to do over here. Food. Uh, we have plenty of wild animals again. And we are sitting well at 11 months of food. What does that mean, actually? It means no meat, 10 veggies, and 84 berries. Because we do get that one... Where is it? The one veggie plot going on okay so lots of berries we are asking these guys to trade them things for those berries to help us somehow survive and we are still at one month of fuel we have six families chopping firewood i don't know what to do here uh that was a a noise um just i guess running out of fuel noise okay so over here now, a mistake I made last time, but let's see what's happening here first. So these guys are going into the woods to go get rounds to come back and chop them. And I guess they deliver transporting spears. They always seem to be moving their spears around. <laughs> I don't get it. We're not adding any more spears to this town, so... But I see them doing that so often. You're transporting spears, too. Yeah. Um, this one over here last time I had forgotten that I had set them to work right in here so I never saw them going bandit camp going this direction to go and take trees where I thought I had set it so they were they were heading this way and they were grabbing uh, rounds to cut firewood so it was working it just didn't look like it because I was expecting something different October I guess those are raindrops yeah um, so we've got 42 firewood now. We were down to 10 at one point, so I think we are doing decent. We've got 35 families, so at 42 firewood, we have at least enough for one each, except we're into the winter months in December, which means two each. So they're going to go through 70 per month. It's going to be close. We might just barely stay ahead of the tidal wave there i don't know all right you guys have dropped in and we're really backwards where am i i'm there okay so we're over here you guys over there any hint of 
Hildebolt coming in. He has not come in for a long, long time. And I'm really surprised about that. Okay, so you guys are sitting in great shape. A little bit of fatigue, not much. And where do we attack a camp over... Did I lose you? Oh, you are over here. Oh, okay. Well, we know where to attack that one. There is a tiny little low spot here, kind of. Yeah, it's not much. It's kind of right there. So you guys pull in like so. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be 18 wide. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it is. There's 18 wide. You're not running. You stand your ground. You sit over there. They will trigger. They'll come out to you and surrender to you peacefully. Pretty much. Once they see they've got 24 well-armed uh, soldiers against them, they, they probably won't last long. So with that going on, and these guys, am I running? I'm not running. Let these guys do their things. Those guys over there do their things. What is there for us to really be doing for the next month and a half? Let's figure these guys out. I'm really confused about this. Are we not allowed... Oh, now you're doing something. You're following. You are transporting spears. <laughs> well, the mule is obviously assigned to her. Whether she's working or... Oh, wait a minute. You are transporting spears. No, you're transporting shields. You're transporting spears. So you're trans... Okay. Okay. Get back here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You not. You not. Where did she go? <laughs> Turn this off. Um, that's not her. That's not her. There she is. You are Katrina. Alright, where do you work? Do you work here? And if you do, that's going to add some confusion. That is you there. So, you grab the mule that was sitting over here. Interesting. Taking the mule back. Oh, Friedland is taking the mule back. So, you're done with your trip. You've delivered the, the, ras the, the berries to the granary after you have dropped off some spears. Okay. So, okay. So, two people are effectively working with mules right now. Third person is working with a mule too. So apparently more than one in one pack station can work with a mule. That's what I wanted to know. We supposedly have one of two over here and we have zero of two over here. I'm pretty sure we own three mules. We own four mules. I don't know where they are. A stable space is 14 somehow. I don't know how that's possible because we have four stables that's eight we have five oxen and two horses huh I'm gonna keep ordering mules I don't know where they're gonna live but we're just gonna keep doing it let's get one for over here we can get all six of these guys on mules and going then we're gonna finally see some progress all right so livestock order place and let's go see what's up with these guys they are there they have responded so distance wise they were probably here when they responded so that's kind of the distance that we can get all right still no hint of enemy troops sighted so they're not coming in from our foe he's not trying to grab the gold he's not trying to grab the influence it's almost like he's abandoned this province. When I set up the game, I set it up so that he would not be quite as aggressive. I took it down one notch. And I set it up so that he wouldn't attack us. Rather, we would attack him. Which I'm now wondering if is a mistake. Because we've somehow got to come up with 2,000 uh, influence for each one of these. We need 8,000 influence to uh, 9,000 to win the game. So how we're going to rack up 9,000, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll keep tithing. We're tithing, aren't we? Or are we? Just over here. You, manor is here, and taxes. We are not. Okay, so never mind on that one. 
we're grabbing all of our influence out of these little skirmishes. Okay. And it's nice that we can do that. Nice that we can farm it. Keep this gold rolling in and just pretty soon we'll have enough to uh, <laughs> to go get Gandalf or the, the, third, uh, the third province started. I can't even keep up with two provinces. I have no idea how I'm going to keep up with the third one. But it would behoove us to do it anyway. That's just it. Long term, the sooner we get a tax base built in three provinces, the better we're going to be for end game. But it's going to be like pulling teeth trying to make it work. It's going to be uh, it's going to be some very stretched out long episodes coming up. I have a feeling. Okay, guys, roll in here. Should we? we we've seen this a couple times now from this perspective. Let's pop back into. This might be a little scary. Boom. Are they right behind me? Why can't I turn? There I am. There they are. Okay. Let's run out over here. I was trying to turn him like I turned the map by clicking and holding the middle button. It didn't work. So, actually, let's go from this way. Whoa. Plenty. Why is he not engaging? I'm curious. He just said, "Uh, uh no, no, uh, that, that's not happening." I'm gonna be. I'm the cheerleader over here. <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, I think numbers. You know, we saw the. Uh, oh, enemy. The, the the power base. Is that what that was? Or there was a, there was a marking here for how much power, how much overpowered you are compared to the other. I have a feeling that went up pretty intensely. They broke quicker than we've ever seen it before. So you guys come on in here and construction finish. Grab that. And this time I'm going to put, try to put the center over them. Last time when it didn't work and they just stood there, the X or the, the star was actually off to a side, meaning the center of the troop was over here. Maybe that was it. So what was the last thing? Construction finish windmill. Samwise's windmill is done. Okay. Uh, it means that one family is actually out there building. Oh, that's nice. That there is one more family available. Good timing, too, since we've got eight racked up into this, this massive planting project. I think we can pull it off. We're close. We are planted, planted, and everybody else, well, they've kind of spread out, haven't they? Let's see here. These folks are just finishing the planting. Okay. Now they're all going to head over and either complete that or something. But these folks have taken on this field. You are a builder, probably. Constructing. Yep. So you finished the windmill. That we tossed into here. Great. Turn you off. I've noticed when I'm editing that I've got a box open and it's right in the way. It's really annoying. But while I'm recording, I don't even see it. I'm zoned in on exactly what I want to go look at, and nothing over here, over here even computes. So it's afterward when I'm editing, I'm, I'm more like a spectator like you guys. And then I see all the things I wish I had or hadn't done during that episode. But yeah, it's not something that you that you really notice when Sam Weisberger's plot, when you're recording and thinking and doing and trying to figure out what to do next and all that. Um, so you guys are still doing fine. I don't need to be here. The, okay, oh, I could check one thing though. The, I guess it's already here. Let's, while we're in this area, hit this again. Still one. Okay, let's hit this. One spear theoretically has made it over here. I have a feeling that's false reporting. We saw that last time. All of a sudden there were three shields when only one when none had been there not too long before. Uh, finished the well. So this one family is doing quite the work. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of the logs had already been hauled in place. Where is our ox? Yeah, everything is in place. Now we've got this ox over here. Here. So where do we want? Oh, you're actually working in the farm right now. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. That you would end up over here. A message. Ah, it worked this time. Good. Send you to the treasury. And let's rush over there. 
and just get you guys repositioned for next time. Uh, save, good. And we'll grab our spot. This is our little mole hill. Nobody else gets it. So you guys are over here. You're not with that. You have to do the right click. There we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. That leaves 18. And tilt it a little. And let's go just a tiny bit out front. Something like that. Perfect. So you guys over there, no running. And stand your ground. Stand your ground is, is solid. It's it's working. I've, did we... I'm trying to think. Did we lose anybody that first time? We did lose somebody that first time with a retinue. Yeah, and I had done give ground at the end to try to back up and lure them, which tends to cause the enemy to... Some of them will hang back as you're luring them forward, and you'll end up with only three or four in front instead of all 16. You know, so they'll, some will start to drag behind, others will push forward, follow you, and it's a good tactic. But I think it turns it, it, it gives us a disadvantage too. We're backing up, we're, we're not concentrating on defense anymore. It's like retreating, turning your back and running, you're exposed. I have a feeling there's a little bit of exposure there. So I've been told that's not a great tactic to use for just an individual troop. But to have one group back up while the other two push in from the sides, use it as a combination move, then it makes sense. Um, all right, so, oh, 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 that says two. We're gaining ground. Okay. Now, food, what more can we do? We were playing with chickens before. Did any of those happen? So, how do I measure this? Let's go here to food. Eggs is five now. Let's go to the market stall here. This should be global. So we can click here and see what's going on. Eggs, there's nine in the market stalls. And there's five in storage. So there's actually 14 eggs in the system right now. So here's the what's in the market. We've got 31 meat in the market and 31 berries. Whereas over here, we've got one meat and one vegetable and one berry. So almost nothing is in the, the granary but all of the pack station deliveries may... I assume they went to the granary. They may have just stopped right here and dumped it off into a food stall. It's it's possible that they they, they cut out the middleman. I don't know. Um, over here, berries. There's, there's, eight, there's 30 berries right there. I think they've been delivering to the market stalls rather than to the granary because there's, there's nothing there. Unless they just instantly go and collect everything that gets dropped off. But I have a feeling they're not that good at that. So I think the pack stations are delivering right to the destinations. Not to the town storage. Um, how you guys doing? One is done and done. So we're all coming together to work on this one. While well, you guys are just kind of finishing over there. You are... I guess I have to be out of this. Beatrix, you're harvesting. Your own home. That's what you're doing. Beatrix must live here. Yeah, okay. So that's why I'm thinking having people with big backyard gardens are not the best people to have doing your, your own harvesting. But she is harvesting. She is here. Or here. There's another one over here. No one's working there at the moment. We have someone working over here. Or you're just cutting through. You No, you were Beatrix. You came all the way over here to harvest one and then went back. Oh, and you're going to harvest the next one. <laughs> no, there's another Beatrix. And they both are harvesting by hand. <laughs> are, are, you, are you kidding me? Wait a minute here. Is that really? There's just one. Who are you? There's another one. And another one. Wow. Yeah. Veggie moms are all named Beatrix in this town. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're Beatrix too. Oh, you must have a great veggie ve veggie farm there. All right. So, okay. We, we know the score over here now. Um, what else is there to even be thinking about what you're doing? Just got abandoned, huh? Wow. Now, what are you doing here? That's actually a little 
I don't know. I, the last time I saw this was in my one of my practice games. We were farming out in here, or uh, we were logging somewhere in, in a forest like this, and whenever they grab a log, they would walk all the way out to the King's Road, walk all the way back through, and then work their way back through town. Winter is approaching. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's when I started putting logging roads in, but I don't have anybody logging out over here. So that can't be that. I'm guessing you were just taken and dropped off. And you had a log on you. Man. Folks need to take care of your ox better. Um, yeah. Winter's coming. Winter is coming. Firewood two months. Food three months. Um... How are we doing? We're in... We're still in October. Okay. Raiders are near 120 days. So they are three months away. So November, December, January, February. And right at the end of it. Because we're right at the end of October. So the end of February. Just before we start harvesting. That's actually good. Now if it is three months. That means a bandit camp... A bandit... Yeah, a bandit to attack. Happens in January. So we take them out, we get back over here, get ready to defend, and then we get back over there before April. <laughs> just just forecasting the uh, future episodes there. Or, we well, we finally get some weapons over there. There we go. We got, uh, we got five in this group over here. So if we can somehow get up... No, we can't. Well, we could. How many men do we have we're sitting at 20 we have enough if we can just, just get the weapons here all right well let's put a third in let's do this let's let's see if we can't speed this up a little bit more and get some more uh, uh spears over there i want logistics and i want a pack station and that's probably a good rotation right there let's undo snap where are you there you are spin you around like so Right up against? Yeah, that looks good. Right up in there. Too bad I can't have them almost joining each other. If I had turned it, I guess, like this. You know, put them... Nah, because it's still the mirror image when you flip it around the other way. So there's no way to get both openings right up against each other. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go there. They're just sharing horses. And you are... Why you're waiting, I don't know. Now you are going somewhere. <laughs> now you're waiting. Okay. You're reevaluating. We just hit November. And you are getting a mule. Because she's now waiting. Yeah, it's a little uh, a little confusing over here. Okay, so we rolled through the month. We theoretically can no longer plow. Oh. Oh. We can no longer plow. It really is at one month per phase. Oh, that just blows me away. How did we do over here then? Uh, you're a cart. You guys are sewing. You're sewing whatever was done. So this one is not going to happen. I think it's what that means. It's not finished. Hmm. This one got... It's considered 100% plowed. So I guess it's going to take. You are plowed and sewed. Let's go back over here. See, what, what's confusing, in case you missed last episode, I thought we had September, November... No, September, October, November to do harvesting, plowing, and sowing. But as soon as September ended, turned to October... All the crops essentially said we're done. Harvesting season ended. So now it looks like harvesting is only September. Plowing is only October. Sowing is only November. You, It's a tight schedule. It really is. That that should be shared. I don't know. That, that just feels weird. You're still plowing though. Okay, you are still plowing. Why then? This is considered 100% plowed. Hmm. Now I am still running the original version. 
and I've never gone this far in my well I did once I did my, my one of my play th my practice games I did have a whole bunch of fields kind of out in an area like this and um, it was a fer fully fertile region so I had you know, lots of flexibility and they went through the whole thing and, and they were always finished in time so I've never ran out of time but these folks seem to all be plowing now and rainstorm coming in even though this area here yeah that's that's really odd as soon as the month turned the the uh, the what plowing had not finished somehow got set in stone this one's going to continue huh that's interesting well we'll just let them go for a little bit um what else happened in november so turned through november moved eight coins over not much is it enough to keep worrying about it should I turn the tithe off until... Well, no, because I don't want families to move in too quick. Because I can't feed them. And I can't turn off all the houses I put in. So actually we want tithing... Well, what we want is to get these folks in here. And oh, they are. And let's... Okay, so click here. Um, let's click here. So one, or two families are in. And no families are in. When these two get in... Oh, when one gets in, I didn't build this one. I wonder if it will do it. Oh, I can do. I can change the priority that way. Okay, so it doesn't build by the order you set them, but it it. Uh, oh well, I don't know. They may have to put go into all these houses and all these houses before they will go into this house. I can get it built. Doesn't mean I can get it lived in, moved in. That'll be interesting. These two are next. Well, this one is next. We'll see if that one happens too. But either way, when the game has done with whatever's going to happen here and moved on, I think I will take the taxes up and let this thing drop. And we'll just let the uh, let the approval rate drop so we don't move any more people in until we've got a, ahead of ourselves with the uh, with the foods. And that'll be our that'll be our rent control. That'll be our population control. I guess that's one way to do it. Um, you guys are where you need to be. You are. We like it. Uh, it works, but yeah, where I was was better. Actually, it's a little more of, a, of an extreme difference. Let's just, let's go here and and yes, that's you know fiddling with little tiny details, but it seemed to work really well. So I think I'm going to stick with it. So get out of that mode. And head over here. All right, so we were over there for a little while. Anything else happening over here? So this has been given up on. We're done. At least we're, we're growing. You are growing. You were plowing one last little bit. And I don't think I need all the families for that. You are going home. So click on you. Growing. Growing growing these were all successful even though some of them are a little strange yeah so we have till the end of November if they're going to do it at all since it wasn't actually plowed by the time the other one ended so I don't need more than one or two families to accomplish that so let's pull the rest of the families out of the farms there you no, there you are and farmhouse has a stall interesting I don't know what that means they don't have any food or clothing or firewood huh I don't know what to think about that but you guys can all go back into society what does that mean hello lightning no more fires please it means let's get a yeah 21 out of 20 great let's get a hunter in don't need two. We can only take it out. To I want. I don't want to go beyond half. Um, you're you're done for the year. Okay. Uh, tannery is up and running. And one of these days we'll get in and think about clearing out some of the extra trees or bushes in here and make it maybe a little less wild. Just enough to be able to see what's going on. But what else do we have here? Logging camp needs to get up and going again. And just to make sure you are working this area right. We're done. 
We know we do want this area gone. Let's work you here. And yeah, that's good. I'm thinking about firewood. We have plenty of firewood for now. But this was just a little too far away to even want to use it. It just seemed like it didn't work. So, although now we got houses over here. So now I suppose it may be possible. Alright, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. But we don't need firewood for how long? Uh, firewood is only five months now. We've built a lot more houses. Okay, let's do it. So you guys are employed and I want what? Um, you were probably set to work something over here. And let's take you in a little bit and keep the trees out in front. Kind of hiding things. That's better. So you're going to work on that. We could put a family in here now if that would do us any good. Uh, what is there to even consider trading? We've got planks we could trade out. I don't think that works. Um, we've got crops. Barley, we're keeping all that. Like all that needs to go over to, uh, um, yeah, the other town. Gandalf. There we go. We don't have 80 berries anymore, so I don't dare trade these out. We... There we are. Iron ore. We could trade that one. We could. Export you and take you down to zero. We have plenty of iron ore on the other side. We don't need to save this. So there's third, there's 90 that could go into the uh, into the treasures there and buy us some goats to make more leather or something. Okay, so that's there. Click away. Yep, you're good. Moving over here. Nothing over here. Nothing that is excess. All right. So we could put a family in here. Not give you a horse. It's not that big a deal. And is it? Eventually, but I think I'm not going to worry about that right now. More just passive training, uh, trading than anything. So you did, you were sewing. You really are. Okay, it's happening. Um, four families left. Anything else that's really important? I wanted to finish off the mining and get this done. 37 left and it's finished. And I made the mistake and moved the stone mine out of here. I guess we put it back in. You're the one that I was thinking of moving because I wanted to put in one more barley field and you were kind of in it when you were over here, but you actually, yeah, you're kind of in it. So you're the one, there's nothing in here yet, that I want to move, which means I just need to rebuild you. Okay, so let's put the new storehouse right there. You're going to be over in this area somewhere, somehow. And there's always a noise when I'm trying to build. Oh, you do fit. Do I want you there? I tuck you up against that. And right there. That's kind of interesting. Except I really can't road around you. Hmm. What was the noise? New family. A new family in Samwise. That is the first time I've seen that. Oh, interesting. 74%. We're doing good over here. Church is in... It is. It means you guys are... You guys are how happy? You guys are a fuel stall supply away from being happy. So that means that I need a... Need to get these guys going again. Over here. I, I'm thinking about moving these. There's These are just kind of odd over here. It looked good at the beginning. It doesn't now. But somebody in each one of those. And so I can get more of the food and fuel stalls up and running again. Um... Okay, moving the the storage before it gets used. That I need to get over there and see what's going on. So where does that go? That was here because of the planks. So it makes sense that it's in this area. Planks and whatever else. It could be also for the, the hides and the leathers. So over here would be better. All right. You storage right in here. Spin you around like so. Bunch of ravens flying through. And trees to uproot one. None. Let's do that. And I'm just listening to the music right now. Let's get you going so we can take you down before anybody uses it. Okay. And then I need to, I guess, put the stone camp back into that spot and get this cleared out. Get the 180 out of here. So with that, two people are left. I think we've covered enough bases. 
Uh, the only thing that's left are planks. And we could upgrade to get two. Yeah, let's do that. No, what do we need? We need four logs. All right, so you guys have got to do your work first. So let's put a second one in there. All right, so that's all done. And over here, um, I wanted to check to see what happened. So tab, uh, you're being built, so it doesn't even show anymore. But these are all red still. Okay, and we're not above 75, so we're only going to get our one for November. And tab, I'm not seeing anything that I've missed. It was these houses, then I'm pretty sure it was these houses. I don't think there's anything else that I added in between. So the next family has got to go here. So it's a matter of getting this one done. It is at highest. There's only one family doing it. Um, we can fix that, though. What's happening here? You are growing, growing, growing. All right. So this time we're not going to mess it up. <laughs> All right. There's two families over here running stalls. Um, no, I have no idea what those stalls are for. I'm curious. You are running a food stall. So farmers are qualified to run a food stall. Interesting. But I don't need anybody here. Everything has been milled or shucked. What is that? Threshed. That's going to be. So you are done. And now we can convert all those workers into... Well, into this guy for one. And there's not much there, but we could... I guess get this guy going. Um, any old flower in the system still? That would be where? Right there? Flower, flower. There you are. So just 15 grain and no flower. All right. So we are two food and two fuel. Um, we can improve the happiness by getting the booze over here. I don't want to improve the happiness to move more families in, though. But I could qualify enough to get level three houses in. And then get the charcoal going. So there is an idea. I need some level two houses, though. You need to upgrade right there. Expand level two. And where's another... Um, I don't see why you guys can't be level two. So upgrade you. Upgrade you. You already are? Yeah. So there's enough to cover the next point. And we just need to get some of these turned into threes. And then we need to get barley over here. And we need to get a malt house going. Let's figure out where to set that one right now. That is industry? Malt. Yeah, there you are. Or did I already do that? I remember looking for that building once. I do remember looking for it. I just don't remember placing it because I never had a reason. We had no barley. So I must have just looked at it. All right, so you don't really seem to work in an area like this, but you're the right size. But, I mean, you're a small building for the middle. But, malt. You're going to be over there. It feels like the sort of thing that would go in here with the other industries. It kind of does. And I kind of like it going in this direction. Let me zoom up a little bit here. What does that look like? Uh, brush. Can you get in between that tree and that tree? And then tuck you all the way up against. Let's see what that looks like. How bad am I going to... Oh, we kept the trees. Good. So we'll get some, some leaves on that. And I probably want to pull out those bushes there. So that and how delicate. I wish I could... Can I zoom this in? I can't. No, control doesn't work. Love to just take out one, but not everything. All right, that's as close as I'm going to get. Now, we'll go ahead and road this one. It seems like it... It seems reasonable. Um, in like that... Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. All right, so you're there. So malt is going to be coming in. And did the house get built? It did not. We're, we're close, though. Interesting. It's just... It's like adding something to the backyard. It's just ticking off. It's not actually showing the construction of the house. Hmm. I feel a little jip there. I do. So, winter is coming near the end of November. Snow is going to be happening before this episode's over. Where am I at? About 40-ish minutes. Okay. So, doing actually pretty good. You guys are over there. You're, you're, you're looking happy. 
Oh, you're happy. 25 experience. Yeah. Um, I can't paint you guys from here. No, that's off. I noticed when I was in here, if I click the garrison, it doesn't really work. When I was in there getting those last four added to the, uh, to the retinue, it showed us a bar and experience points. I'm curious to see what that looks like now. Maybe we'll try to check that when we come in next episode. Maybe that or the one after when that raid comes in. We'll bring them in first and we'll uh, maybe spruce them up a little bit. Maybe we'll use some of our funds to uh, to enhance their armor. So it's not just one, uh, one, one of them running back and forth in full armor that's got to be heavy and uncomfortable. All right, so I have dumped a lot of people into here and I need to stop talking and start doing. Let's get another trader back in. I'm not sure what to do with you yet, but how did the price for shields uh, change? Did that ever fix? No, we're still oversupplied. So I don't know if that will fix on its own. I don't know if the system balances on its own yet. Or if that is something waiting for the next uh, update. And I'm still curious when they're going to deem that first update um, tested and satisfactory and, and dump it into the, uh, the main game here. I'm still waiting for that to happen. I'm going to be racking up uh, points to spend as soon as that happens. Well, okay, a day or two after it happens. So that, yeah, you, whenever any update comes in, you always wait a day or two before you commit. Because there's always something that they nobody caught the first time around. All right, so granary, let's get a third one in there. Storehouse, let's get a third one in here. Keep your logistics up and going. We've got a pack station in. Let's grab a horse, put a family in. And you're going to be sending out spears as well. So, spears were down low right there. Bringing back what? What do they have over there? They have iron ore that they're going to sell. It's really, they just have berries. So, we'll just keep the berries rolling through. And until we deplete them to, to where they're a little bit dangerously low, then we'll stop. Then we'll figure out more food fixes over here. You are going to be heading to Samwise. I'm not going to make that mistake again. And the spears are stored over here. So this is a good combo. If I was dealing with, you know, eventually with firewood or, or something, I would probably be dealing with this storehouse over here. Where is this storehouse? Is that you, Smithy? We put one halfway up the road here. Oh, you're clear down here. You are. But we were going to be dealing with this permanently. So I wanted a halfway point between there and here. So, I guess it's kind of close enough to the firewood. That's not too far away. Let's put a road in there, right to the firewood then. Uh, road in from there. And we just crossed through. We did. We're in December. Okay, where are you? I lost you again. Buried in the trees. You're down here. Okay. So, you need to come into kind of this area. Probably like so. So let's weave you around a little bit, come in through these trees, and into that area right there. Kind of like that. And then I would clean out just one or two of these, but it's a great big circle that cleans it out. Yeah, a little frustrating. Okay, we moved into December. We moved seven over. We... new family here. Doesn't show a new family over there. Uh, mercenaries, livestock, placed. Doesn't look like anything else is significant right now. So farming is officially done. So you have been emptied. You're emptied. Let's go empty the last two out of here. Right there. Minus, minus. And what? The hunter is capable of putting in a stall. The... Granary is capable of putting in a stall. There's 59 berries over here. We've got quite a bit of firewood, actually. Iron ore and planks over here. Um, there is another family or two in here. So that worked out fine. You are officially planted. And you are too. So it worked. We got our seven fields in somehow. Even though it burped over there, but it seems to be okay. So I've got some extra families. Did we just get you done quickly? I think so. Let's get you done quickly. And do we want to... One family is doing fine over there. We're going to be running out of out of animals again. 
Okay. Do we have any different policies? Oh, we don't have a manor. I wonder if policies change from one to the other. I don't think so, but... A manor. We... There was a void in here and there? I think it was there. Barley? Yeah. So, Emmer. The manor here. Is that where we want the manor? He is uphill from everywhere else. He's even further uphill over here, but he's kind of too far away. I think the manor's in this area. I really do. And whether or not we go full fence, winter is here. Full fencing and, and the whole works here, I don't know. Um, but let's go ahead and get you set if we can. I've got to see what, remind myself what was needed. Uh, you are 20 and 15, so we need the stone. All right. And we need to turn you back on for just a little while. Get you coming in. So one family in here. And stone goes here once this is built. This one, highest priority. There were up to four families working. So what's the deal over here? Still need another log hold in. We need to retrieve the ox from here. Advanced minus. No longer using an ox, though you are high. Okay. Running out of food in Gandalf. Yep, I know. And how are we doing for our military over here? Up to six. Yeah, we'll, we'll get them here. Now, let's see. Click on... No, click, click on here. So shields over here. We got 36 shields over here. Am I looking at the right one? No, 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 no. Looking at the wrong one. We have six and six. Okay, we're even over here. So we have a company of six over here, which doesn't stand a chance against anyone. So we've got to be at least 20 before we're going to commit them to uh, to this, this raid coming in. So I think they're going to have to, uh, I don't know, play support roles this time. So over here, what can we pull off? And it's just a matter of whether or not in the next two episodes, uh, seven point. 960 or 65 hits as to whether or not we will quickly employ an archer militia. We've got all the bows, don't we? Where are the bows? 42 of them. Yep, we could pull that off. We have 74 men available, and we're only committing 36 and 36 others. Well, there's, there's, what is that, 72? We have enough for these two full companies right now. So, what is happening with pole arms? I guess that's where I need to be looking. As well as the one month of fuel. Uh, of food. Okay, so what more can be done with that? You, general, no eggs. You, general, no eggs. What's happening over here? Tab, one family's in. No families over there. So, January, we've got to see if another family pops in right here. You have veggies, you have veggies. Okay, but nothing's going to come out of this for a while. We could still randomly pull things out of these two. Uh, that one and this one. I think that happens randomly through the year still in this version of the game. Hmm. Yep, it's going to be tight. Okay, we do have a trader and we do have some monies. We don't have a cheap way of bringing it in, though. That's the problem. We're paying the tariff over here. I didn't want to use that point until taxes, um, until the update hits. I had a, received a comment early on that someone that had taken the point and then the update hit, and it caused all kinds of, of problems with this. And so I... I Hopefully whatever caused that has already been fixed in the update, but I don't know how well the update is going to intermingle with decisions made from this game save, and I want the game save to, uh, to continue, so I'm not willing to take that chance. So what is the cheapest food we could get in, and would it make any difference? So foods, so no matter what we do, it's going to cost 12, and that's 10 meat, and we're flat broke. I don't see any advantage to that. Um, what happens when you go hungry? Do families leave? I'm a, I can I can deal with that. We have too many families already. 
So I guess there is that way of thinking about it. It might actually be a blessing temporarily. Um, we are making wheat or uh, flour right there. Twelve flour. Okay, so let's get you going. That will buy us a little more time. We've got three pack stations bringing back berries. Every one of them that is set correct, right? Samwise spears for berries, Samwise spears for berries, and Samwise shields for berries. Soon we'll swap you out for shields once we get ahead on spears. Do we do a fourth station? I don't know. I mean, eventually there'll be a lot of stations. Eventually there'll be other goods we need to move back and forth. Luckily right now Samwise isn't in much need of anything. And I do want to be bringing in barley. I do. That's stored here. So wheat and grain and flour will go in the granary. Your barley and your hops will all land over here. So we need to be bringing in the hops. We need to bring in the barley. Over there right now there's only barley. And... Hmm. So there is reason for another pack station. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, I like this little combo here. That worked out pretty good. Next pack station goes where? I don't know that I want a mule in my downtown. Let's play with that downtown. What does it take to bring you up to a level 3? It takes... Requirement not met. Oh, it takes tavern. Okay. So we need to get... Yeah, we, that's just it. We need to get the barley in. Okay. Did you happen? You were happening. Let's take you up higher than everything else. Is there anything else going on here? Over there, there was a storage that needed to be done immediately. But... And it just got done. Over here, I don't think there was... Yeah, there was just this guy. And he's, he's finished. Um, tab one more time. Just one in there. Two in here. And level one house. Okay. So January will answer an important question over here. You are waiting. I thought you were going to be out here uh, sewing or something or doing something else. But no, you're not doing gardeny things in the snow. I was going to catch you there. Um, storage is in. Okay. You are going to be... I don't... Well, I could put a family in just to just to kind of make this official. You are going to be none of all of these. And then selectively, you're going to be what? Where do we... I'm kind of thinking I want to make this my main um, storage. It feels more central. Maybe get rid of that one over there. In that case, I guess let's just open up the doors. You guys put whoever you want over here. Over like that. There. And we'll let, leave you running until this is done. Which is almost there. Because it's convenient. But then we could... How do you empty a storage? That I don't know. I guess you hire both families. No, you upgrade this one. You upgrade this one. Can we do that? We can. You upgrade him so you can have three families. Then you demolish this and all three families will hopefully make short order of that. I guess that's it. So in that case, yeah, you're down to only one. You will have one. Alright, so you can go away. So we'll just demolish you. And we can reset the stone camp over here. And then we'll demolish it too. Then this will all become a barley field. New family start moving in. So we're good there. Um, industry? No, mining. Right there. And stonecutter's camp. And somewhere near the stone. Like that. We'll just put you back in. And, yeah, pretend I didn't accidentally move the wrong thing. You don't have to be too soon. There's two families. They'll get to it all eventually. The other houses we put in, we've got plenty of, of housing now. 14 families. Actually, there's only 14 living spaces. Wow. That means this could be cutting our food down quite quickly. Because we're really actually filling this place up. We need to get the manor in. So what was it? It was stone and it was planks. We can do that now, right? Uh, thump thump. Samwise, another family. Okay. Uh, manor needs stone. Oh, no, we're just now getting the stone. So that is you. In that case, you do need to go up. All right, you're the next thing to build over here. Get that up, get 
five more stone or whatever it is. No, we've used all the stone. We need 20 stone. 15, 15 stone. Okay. So that's going on there. Um, military is still six. I'm, I'm sure more have been brought in, but it's not reporting them. There's got to be a pack mule over here somewhere. Probably over here, dropping off at this point. No. I don't know where they drop off. I know they eventually land in all the houses, but... Interesting. You are empty. You are empty. Alright, so is there anything else I need to do over here? I'm going to shut this episode down soon. Over here, we need to get that in and we need to get this happening. Then we can put the manor in. So I think that is the priorities left for this side. Oh, and, and houses. Yeah, we're, we're done. So another house is going to pop in January 1st. <clears throat> okay. Then, in that case, I'm going to pause because I actually have to get something built here real quick. Let's look at you and barley. So, I don't want to build in here. Let's surround that with a road. I only kind of saw that. So, what does that look like? C and barley. Not bad. So, let's pull across we're going to ignore that let's just come in like so we'll figure out the rest later so road from here around around and in and then we'll follow the other road because it tracked pretty good there build and then we're going to get rid of this road and then back to here and barley okay so we could house out in here right uh flax is fine barley emmer's most anywhere so that is a good building area got the church over here i don't know what happens right in here maybe another couple market stalls or something um the well's right there uh housing and well you are available in this area too like right here yeah definitely so do we want to kick out over there though and we do have an entrance right here to the to the church so if I were to do this it would still work I can tuck you right into it and right into there huh min maxing here right there and I could then road kind of grabbing over here and take off around. Okay, so that's fine there. Let's get... So road is going to come in like so. And kind of roll around and connect right there. And kind of go any further. Mm, yeah, right there. So you're going to go there. You'll kind of all mingle together. And it would probably take off here. Not necessarily. It could take off over here. We could get an interesting manor or a burgage plot in here. We were to. Where do I grab? You are tracking there. We were to go out to there. Head out like so. And out like so. Alright, not enough. But we have access to the front yards oh there was a point okay you're doing funky things there i put you in there and then minus for a while what does that do we really don't have six logs wow okay let's do just that one then something like there and there and I wish I could see through that box I'll leave the tree but I want you there so I guess we're going to that point and you'll just be a goat or a chicken kind of house and two houses in there that's fine so build you and take your priority up big time what were we doing what was the it was the stone let's make this our highest priority and you come down one notch you are stone camp. You're down one notch. Okay. You're the first one. Let's get you built. Do I have... I have one log left. Okay. So turn it back on again. Um, house, stone, another house. We should just keep ahead of the wave over here. 
And over here, is there anything else that's critical? We needed to get, probably next episode, figure out where to put another pack station. We can send the other half of the of the shields over and bring back barley. About the same time this guy gets up and running and start turning into malt. Then we could pick a house that's going to become a brewer. Which is probably one of these guys. I think this is the brewer. What does the brewer cost? It only costs five and some planks. But I don't want to lose the family until I'm really ready to do it. So we'll do that. You're going to be a brewer. Alright, so with that, am I done? I think I'm done enough. Yeah. Full on winter. Near the end of December. Next time, January, February. And we'll see where that raid comes in. Maybe we can finish with the raid. Maybe the raid's going to be right, you know, as I need to end the episode. I don't know what. Just We'll see how that goes. Or I may just make one long episode. So with that, I'm going to call this done. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.